What's up guys, Eric Ash, Vintage Boxing Gym. I'm gonna go over the first lesson today. We're gonna cover the stance, the walk, the jab, the straight, the hook, the one, two, and the one, two, three. A lot of information, okay? First thing, let's go over the stance. We're gonna get on this line, shoulder width apart. With the weight on the balls of our feet, I'm gonna step forward, my front foot, back with my back foot, creating a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna have my back foot at a 45 degree angle, my front foot straight. A little bit more pressure on the back foot than the front foot, so 60-40. 60% on the back foot, 40 on the front foot. I'm gonna raise my arms up, Bring them down, attach them to my rib cage. Turn my shoulders, matching the angle with my shoulders and hips. And now I'm in my stance. I'm looking through this window. My hands are nice and loose. Super important, okay? All right guys, now we're gonna get back in our stance. We're gonna learn how to walk. So the purpose of our boxing walk is not to cross our feet ever, okay? So when I go forward, I'm gonna use my front foot, driving with my back foot. When I go back, I'm gonna use my back foot, driving with my front foot, okay? It looks like this, I'm going forward, drive. Small half steps, back, drive, drive, drive. I'm never leaning forward or back. I'm keeping my weight centered. The pressure, 60-40 always. I'm here, small step forward, drive with my back foot. Drive, drive. Now go backwards, lift up my back foot, drive, drive, drive. Okay, now if I wanna go to my left, I'll use my left foot. I'll go to my right, right foot. Same thing, opposite leg is a drive train. Going to my left, drive. Drive, keeping my hips at this 45 degrees still. And get to my right, drive, drive. Always center with the pressure, with the, with the weight. Pressure 60-40. Back to my stance, forward, right, back, left. Forward, right, back, left, okay? This is the basic boxing stance along with the walk. Moving my head the whole time, keeping the pressure the same with my feet. More pressure on the back foot than the front foot at all times. All right guys, we're gonna go over the jab now. So we're getting back in our stance. This punch comes straight from the elbow. We're gonna take a half step forward to get into fight range. And I'm gonna throw my left shoulder forward, right shoulder comes back. Okay, it looks like this. Stepping forward, now my arm is fully extended, palms down, chin is down, my shoulder's taking the place of my fist. My right shoulder is pulled back like a trigger in case I need to throw it. Now I come back, as my hand comes back, my foot comes back as well, right back into the stance. I throw it again. Back foot has to stay down. If I bring my back foot up, I get pushed back. I don't want that to happen. I need to have my post. Working on the right hand, okay? So we're gonna get in our stance again. This, 
We're pushing off our back foot, pivoting on our right foot, driving forward our right hip, propelling our right shoulder forward, and turning our left shoulder back as far as we can. Boom, straight ahead. Chins down, pressure's on the back foot, palms down, shoulders taking the place of my fist. Same thing as throwing the jab, recoil back. Turn, recoil back. <clears throat> now we move. <clears throat> At no point am I moving forward. If I lean over, it takes all the pressure off of my back foot, putting the pressure completely on my left leg, and then it leaves me immobile, okay? I need here, pressure on the back foot, <clears throat> sit down, bam! Sitting down on every punch. <clears throat> Now take some time, take a round and just practice this movement. When you come back, we're gonna work on the one, two, then we're gonna get into the one, two, three with the hook. All right, now you should feel more comfortable throwing the jab in the right hand. We have to tie them together. So when we tie the, the jab and the right hand together, it's called the one, two. We're gonna step and then we're gonna turn with the two. Step with the jab, turn with the two. So we're in our, we're in our position, I step. Turn, okay? You see, my head does not move, okay? My shoulders take me offline, so I recoil back. Step two, come back. Step two, step two, step two. <laughs> So same thing, take a round to practice that. Step and turn, step and turn. Basic fundamentals. When you come back for after practicing that for a round, we're gonna work on the one, two, three. We're also gonna go over the, the hook combination, the hook punch. We'll go over that next. All right, you should be feeling good with the one, two now. We're gonna go over the hook before we go over the one, two, three, because the hook's incorporated the one, two, three, and we haven't gone over that yet. So, we're here in our stance. And this is gonna be one of the hardest combinations, the hardest punches for you to learn. We're gonna pivot on our left leg in tandem with our left arm rolling over top of the person's shoulder, palms down. It looks like this, and I bring the weight back as I do it. Boom. Here, roll. Turn. As I do it faster, it's here. Bam. 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 So I'm here, weight back. This can change. The radius can change. Okay? This is one variation that's on the hook, and this is the strongest one with the palms down, turn our hands over. But we can also turn our fist vertically, going around the person's guard and catching the, the back of the head or the ear. From here. Alright, 
So now we're going over the hook. Let's go over the one, two, three. So we're gonna step, turn, and then turn again with the hook. It looks like this. Step, turn, turn. Again, ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. So now you have some chance to work on some stuff. We've gone over the stance, the walk, the jab, the two, the three, the one, two, and the one, two, three. So take some rounds, go over this stuff. We're gonna be providing weekly videos to let you know all the basic techniques of boxing. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.